Carlo, could you mention some of the biggest myths you have seen in your experience around Agile, Scrum, Kanban, whatever myths? Uh, anarchy. Anarchy is probably the most uh, the most uh, encountered myth and monster in in my in my whole Agile career. Like uh, when we're talking about Agile, we're talking about self-organizing team, which means uh, people are uh, kind of doing whatever they want. You just have to tell them what's the objective, the outcome they want, and they do with, with no control or no boundaries. That's that's the probably the hardest and most difficult uh, to to overcome myth. That is also an impediment towards a, a good Agile transformation. Um, let me make an example. Metrics. Okay, in traditional organization, command and control, you need metrics because you want to control. People think that if you get rid of command and control and you go agile, you don't need metrics anymore because you are agile. That's probably one of the worst thing that you can imagine in implementing a proper Scrum team or a proper agile team. Why that? Imagine that basically what we are saying is that you are an athlete and you are in a gym and you are just doing only the things that the coach is, is telling you to do. And he's only the, the only one measuring you and saying you just, you did fine, you didn't do fine. <laughs> and now you're saying, okay, now I want you to compete for the Olympics and say, okay, so your objective is go to for the Olympics, go and figure it out. So that, that would be basically the, 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 the same of the myth that people think are thinking about ag agility. It's the opposite. You go agile, it means that you get total control of your empirical process towards building your physique so that you can compete in the Olympics, which means uh, you're measuring way more things than you were measuring before. It's just the difference in the reason why you're measuring. In the command and control world, because someone wanted to judge your performance. In agile, you're measuring because you want feedback so that you can improve and learn. And that's a huge difference. But, you know, that's that's kind of, you know, if you start measuring the the right way and you have the discipline that is needed to actually re really be agile then you see that anarchy there's there's not much not much space for anarchy